morning. It's a beautiful morning out right now. No wind, calm, warm. It's probably in the upper 40s, low 50s right now. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm gonna go ahead and probably brush my teeth and then go grab some coffee and uh, get things all ready for today. Get my gear sorted out that I'm gonna bring on the ride today and have a nice breakfast and then we're probably gonna hit the road but it is gorgeous out right now. Just kinda sitting and relaxing, looking over this little pond or lake right here. It's beautiful though. Just got all my gear on, heading down right now to test ride the Harley and then we're gonna come back and get ready. I uh, got mostly everything all ready for today, but uh, do a final check, make sure I have all the right stuff in my bag and get on the road and start riding today. Definitely looking forward to it. It's already starting to warm up, but it's a beautiful morning. We don't talk about that kind of stuff when we ride more, so. Uh, mode button, indicators right here, center top of your screen. Just push that button, it'll change from rain, street, and sport. That's the horn. <laughs> All right. Ergos feel pretty decent out of the box. Clutch is a little touchy. Oh, wow. Um, I will say that the, uh, the windshield works great. It feels really planted. The seat is super, super comfortable. I mean, I've obviously I've been on it for like two minutes, but uh, it feels good. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. We'll see what this thing's made of. All right, here we go. She's got some grunt. So yeah, I mean, this is this is sweet. I'm not not gonna lie. Oh man, and cruise control. <laughs> I mean, look, like just no hands, holding it at 64 miles an hour. That's nice. Bump the speed up a little bit. It's interesting, the clutch is a, a cable clutch. Um, honestly, it feels really good, but you would think that for something um, that carries this price tag that you'd probably be with a, a hydraulic clutch. But I would say my only gripe so far is the shifter, it feels really vague. Um, it takes a lot of force to kind of click it into gear. And, uh, you know, the stock bags are too small, but that's just kind of, I think most, most newer adventure bikes are kind of in that realm and you gotta put, um, you know, some aftermarket pegs on them. Man, yeah, so on an initial test ride, color me impressed. Obviously it'll take uh, real world ownership and actual miles to tell if it's a good bike or not, but hey, it was fun on the test ride, that's for sure. Super comfortable. I mean, this is definitely a bike that you could eat up road miles, hundreds, hundreds of miles in a day and probably not be uncomfortable. Now with the test ride out of the way, it was time to link up with some other riders and head out. It's so beautiful out. Feels good. So we had a little stretch of pavement to go to get out to the dirt track. Uh, it's about 9.30 now. This would be the last piece of pavement that we touched until about four o'clock in the evening. 
the scenery out here was super beautiful and even if you came out here to not ride anything other than road there's a lot of great roads around here and a lot of awesome sights that you can see from the pavement super super nice out today <clears throat> man this is sweet Wildflowers are out, blooming. What a pretty section. Little stream, nice, sick. It is gorgeous. So beautiful. It's hard to pay attention. The tracks out here were just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, some of them just barely hanging on. It was almost like we were keeping some of these trails alive out here, but the sights were just so pretty that it was hard to pay attention to riding and focusing on where you're going when there's so much awesome stuff around you to look at. Now that we made it to the top, it was time to descend, and there were quite a few of these rocky downhills, which can be a little bit difficult to navigate on a bigger bike. <laughs> Thought I was gonna make it through without dabbing. Nope. Rock Garden had another thing for me. Yeah, these baby head hills, man. The 
So we'd lost over 2,000 feet of elevation in a very short period of time. Um, and the KTM 1090 is a pretty heavy bike and my rear tire was not in the best of shape. So it was a little bit challenging to not gain too much speed down some of these sections. Oh, man. Do I not have any rear brake? Oh, fuck. I don't. I have no rear brake. What's going on here? So I wasn't exactly sure what had happened with the rear brake. I had never lost a rear brake before, and I thought maybe I had a leak or something like that. What I did notice though is as I pumped the rear brake, it eventually did come back. So I was pretty convinced that there wasn't necessarily a hole. Um, I pretty sure at this point that the brake was just overheated and uh, I was experiencing some pretty gnarly brake fade. So my rear brake is completely gone. Um, if I pump it, it works. Doesn't look to be leaking. I'm not sure if I just heated it up too much on that downhill. And uh, I, what I'm experiencing is just major, major brake fade, which is entirely possible. So I'm just trying not to use the rear brake at all and just kind of go slow and just use the front brake only right now. Um, so that's... That's how this is going. <laughs> uh, hopefully it comes back. Because this is sketch. Jesus. Nice shade of rainbow. I mean, you can take this back north, end up yeah. Cooked. Yeah, but yeah, she works good. Alright, you guys, we're all good. We're on the road now. Rear brake decided to come back. Thank you, rear brake. <laughs> Definitely cooked it coming down. I mean that's a that's a steep descent coming down out of there. So it's almost one o'clock and we're heading down this awesome row with the mountains to the right. Just a super pretty area. It is pretty warm, about 85 degrees, but luckily this road's smooth and straight. We can carry some good speed. So we're heading out right now to go to a hot spring that you can't go in because uh, <laughs> it's too hot, but just basically see boiling water coming out of the ground. Uh, that's where we're heading to right now. It feels incredibly remote out here and I was just thinking how I would hate to have to change a tire or something out here. I mean there's no shade. Looks like pretty unforgiving territory. These hot springs were pretty cool to check out. Definitely a little bit off the beaten path and out of the way, but totally worth coming and seeing. I was definitely a little bit cautious getting too close. I've heard of, you know, the, some of these collapsing around the area or things like that. So you definitely got to be careful when visiting these areas, especially in really remote places. But this whole corner of the state is so geothermally active. There's a lot of cool features out here. It was time to get back on the road. I was pretty happy because it was about 90 degrees out, so it was nice to be moving again. But it's already getting a little bit later in the day and we still have a lot of ground to cover and a lot of things to see before we even get to our halfway point. Here we be. It's so hot. 
so riding out here on this dry lake bed is something that I've always wanted to do. I had a ton of fun when we brought the truck out here and I was definitely itching to get back on two wheels and I'm super happy that we got to include this in our trip. degrees right now ripping through the desert with black on this is some fast stuff out here man incredible So I want to take a pause here for a moment and fill you in on the backstory before this section. So we were following a pre-planned route and we got to a section of basically sand dunes and it was super, super soft and windblown. And on a big 500 plus pound bike like this in 90 degree heat, not a ton of fun maneuvering the bike around. I was feeling pretty drained at this point. Definitely could use some electrolytes and was really just kind of ready to be out of there and uh, to our halfway point um, to start heading back. So at this point, we had dealt with some potential mechanical issues on one of my buddy's bikes there. Uh, turned out that the bike was okay. So now we are trying to just push through this soft section, hoping that it turned into hard pack and we could get out of here more easily. But at this point, I'm definitely feeling it and I'm ready to get out of here. Oh man, dudes, this is some real shit at the end of the day. Oh, I don't have the energy stores to be fing with this shit. Oh. Please don't let it be a sand wash the entire way. <laughs> oh, I pray there's no more of that. Yeah, right. Yeah, it took like five miles to hit the power line, and then five miles into town. So that's pretty miserable. Fortunately for us, the trail did harden up and get much better. Unfortunately for me, I ran out of water right around here. Now I did bring about three liters of water with me, which I figured would be enough, but it clearly wasn't. Luckily, we were only about six to seven miles away from the halfway point where a store was. So now it was kind of about survival and not making any stupid moves, getting a flat tire or anything like that and just cruising and getting out of there and out of the heat. It was almost 90 degrees right now in the middle of the afternoon. So you definitely don't want to get stuck out here with no water. So we made it into town and my mind just wasn't on filming so I didn't catch really anything of our halfway point here. I was more focused on getting some Gatorade and some snacks and just rehydrating and resting a little bit before we got back on the road. From here on out it was all slab on the way back. We had about 100 miles to do and it was brutally windy 25-30 mile an hour winds which not super fun to ride in when they're coming from the side uh, when you're going down the highway at 70 miles an hour but it was nice to be making our way back to camp Man. 
this that is quite the grade All of that white haze that you can see off there in the distance was actually dust kicked up from the wind and we were actually riding into it. It was pretty cool though, riding through it, super foggy, kind of gave everything a weird feel, um, but definitely cooled things down, which was nice. hit the hot springs I think but long day on the bike really good day though awesome sights riding around out there on the playa was super fun but yeah I'm gonna get to eating because I'm hungry I'll get you guys up a little bit all right so back in the tent now was at the hot springs for uh, quite a few hours just relaxing felt really nice after today's ride and uh, took a shower, which was also awesome. But uh, dinner was great, today's ride was great. I am beat. It was a long day. I think my face even got some wind burn. But the wind's starting to pick up. Hopefully it's not too windy tonight in the tent. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some sleep because got a big ride home tomorrow. So catch you guys in the morning. It is another beautiful morning. Didn't do a lot of filming last night as uh, I spent a couple hours in the hot springs and was just relaxing and then it got pretty late so I came back to the tent and just went straight to bed. I was pretty dang tired after yesterday. It was a long day, about almost 10 hours of riding, lots of wind and uh, lots of heat so I was pretty well zapped after yesterday. Got a little bit cold last night though, about, well, it's below freezing, must have been because there's frost on the tent and on the motorcycle, but the sun's up right now and it's warming up and it feels good. It's about time to go get uh, coffee and have some breakfast and then we'll get things packed up and get on the road and start heading home. So that's really it. There's only the two and a half hour long boring ride home. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I had a ton of fun this weekend, made some cool friends, saw a lot of cool sights. This was an awesome experience and I'm definitely looking forward to coming back next year and also bringing the wife so she can experience it as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I didn't film a bunch at the end of day two there. I was just beat and exhausted and filming just wasn't something I was thinking about. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because that definitely helps. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and stick around because there will definitely be more videos to come. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one.